Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to integrate a HTML admin template to our Laravel project. So here in the previous tutorial we have created the admin and user login system. So first of all let me just log into the admin panel. So I'll click on login, then I'll give the admin email address, then the password which is on 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then click on login and there you can see currently our admin page look like this. So here we are going to integrate this HTML admin template. So Maureen, we are going to download this template first. So I'll go to my GitHub and I'll give this GitHub link in the description so that you can also download this template. Okay, so in order to download this template, uh, you need to first come to this link, then here click on code option, then here you can see download zip button or option, click here. So it will download a zip file. There you can see it is downloading and the download is complete. It is around 3 MB. So I'm going to open this. And here you can see, so let me just cut this from here and let's just paste it in my new volume D. So I'm going to paste it over here and there you can see, so first of all, what we need to do is that we need to extract this zip file. So for it, I'll just right click and then here you can see extract all options. So click here, then I'm going to extract it in the same folder. So I'll just remove this name from here and then click on extract. And there you can see it is extracting and it is complete. So now let's go inside this folder. So there you can see we have some folders and files here and every template starts with index.html. So if I just double click on index.html, it will open it in the browser like this. There you can see. So this is the template that we just downloaded and we're going to integrate or add this template over here. So for it, first of all, what you need to do is, let me just go to the template folder and I'm going to copy each folder and file from here. So I'll just copy this. After that, we need to go to our Laravel project. And here you can see our Laravel project name is Laravel underscore project, which is this one that I just opened over here. So in our Laravel project, we need to go to the public folder. And inside public folder, we're going to create a folder called admin. So let me just right click. Then I'm going to click on new, then folder. Let's say the folder name will be admin press enter so admin folder is created so inside the admin folder we are going to paste whatever we just copied from the template so we we'll just copy this from here Control c or you can just right click and copy it from here like this then we'll go inside the laravel project public folder and inside public folder we'll go to the admin folder so inside the admin folder we are going to paste it so Control v and there you can see so all the templates folder and file right now in the admin folder which is in the public folder so if i just go to my visual studio code then go to public then admin folder there you can see we have all those folder so first of all what we are going to do is that i already mentioned that every template starts from index.html so what we are going to do is that we are going to copy every code from the index.html so for it i am just going to press ctrl a it will select everything, then I'll press Ctrl C. So it will copy everything. Okay, Ctrl A and Ctrl C. After that, you just go to the app, HTTP, repeat, then home controller. And here you can see for the admin user, we are returning the user to the admin.index file. So which is inside the resource, then views, inside views. Here you can see the admin folder, inside admin folder we have index.blade.php over here we only have hello admin and the logout option. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to remove everything from here. Then I'll just uh, go to the public admin folder, inside admin folder I'll go to the index.html, copy everything from here, then paste it in the index.blade.php. So I'll just paste it over here. And if we now save this, then if we just refresh over here, it will look like this. It means all the text is coming, but the CSS and the image is not working. The reason is really simple. Here, let me just go at the top. Here, you can see that uh, we are linking the CSS from here. HTTP equal to vendor bootstrap CSS slash bootstrap dot mean dot CSS and every other CSS link here. The thing is we have created a admin folder inside the public folder. So what we need to do is that we need to mention the admin folder inside each href. So here I'm going to say admin slash 
I can just copy this and I'm going to paste it for each href over here. Uh, this is a link. We don't have to paste the admin slash for this. So I'm going to say here admin slash CSS for this one and this one as well. After that, we need to go down. Here you can see we have some scheme source here. So here we again need to mention the admin folder. I'm just going to paste it for each scape source. So make sure to do this. And right now, if we just save this, then if we now refresh here, there you can see if the design is working here. And there gets the image is missing. The thing is, here it gets the image is here. But for this, the image is missing because again, we need to mention the admin folder for the image. So here it says Mark Steven. So I can just copy this and I'm going to press Ctrl F. There you can see a find option. I'm going to say here Mark Steven and there you can see. And here you can see you have the image avatar. So I'm going to send here admin slash image. If we now save it, then if we now refresh here, this image will come back. There you can see we have the image. So we have added our HTML admin template in our project, but the thing is, uh, all the code is inside on single file. So, so it is really hard for anyone to read the file. There you can see there is around uh, 600 tiles of code. So what we are going to do is that we are going to separate each section. Like we are going to separate the sidebar, the number, and the body part in different files. So that everyone can or every developer can read the code really easily. So for it, what we are going to do is let me just uh, go to the resource, then views, inside views. There you can see we have the admin folder and here you can see index.blade.php. So inside admin folder, let me just create a sidebar.blade.php. So I'll just click here. I'll just right click on the admin folder, then click on new file. And I'm going to say here sidebar.blade.php. Press enter. And there again, sidebar.blade.php is created. So what we are going to do is that I'm going to copy the code from here, the sidebar code. And the sidebar code started from, okay, let me just right click go down over here. Here it gets the sidebar started from here. So uh, there you can see sidebar navigation. So I'll just copy this from here. It started from line 170 on. So I'll just copy this from here up until line 203. So I'll just cut this from here. So I'll just press Ctrl X or right click and cut. If we now save this, then if we now refresh here, it will look like this. There is the sidebar is gone. That's why there is some space over here. So what we are going to do is that whatever we just pop it from here, we are going to paste it in the sidebar.blade.php over here. So we just paste it here. After that, we are going to include the code from the sidebar.blade.php to index.blade.php. So for it, what we need to do is we need to say here at the rate of include, then to first bracket to single quotation, and we are going to mention the file name which is sidebar.blade.php, and this file is inside the admin folder. So we are going to say here admin dot sidebar only this, and if we now just set this. Then refresh here. There is the sidebar is back. So we are going to do the same thing for the name file as well of the menu bar. So for it, let's go back to our code. And here you can see this is the header section. So I'm going to copy the entire header section from here. So we will copy up until the header section end. And the header section ended over here. Here you can see after before the body after the body so i'm going to cut it from here so i'll just right click then click on cut there you can see the header section is gone if we now save then if we now refresh there you can see there is no header section right now so let me just create the header.blade.php here so i'm going to say header.blade.php and i'm going to paste whatever i just copied then I'm going to mention the header file name here. So for it, I'm going to say that of include 
to first bracket to same position, we say admin dot header. Save it. Refresh. And then you can see the header section is back. So we're going to do the same thing for this body section as well. So let me just create a body.plate.ph code here. I'll just right click, click, click on new file. And we're going to say body.plate.php. And there you can see. So right now, let's go to our index.plate. And I'm going to copy entire things from here. Or I'm just going to keep this 3D over here. After that, I'm going to copy the entire thing. Make sure to do the same if you are using the same template. So I'll just right click go down and we'll cut it up until the footer section over here. So I'll just cut it from there. So I'll just right click and click on cut out. So we'll only keep this 2 div over here like this. Okay, I think there will be one more div over here. So let me just write it over here directly. This div will be for this one. So right now, if we just save this and go to our browser and then refresh here, there you can see the body section is gone. So let's go back to our code and we'll go to our body.blade.php and we're going to paste whatever we just copied from here. So control V and there you can see. So right now, if we just save this, then we'll go to our index.blade.php and inside this 3D, we're going to say here at the end of include to single quotation, it will be admin dot body. Save. Then refresh. And there you can see the design is back. So after that, what we are going to do is that we are going to keep the CSS link in a different file. I think that will be more easier for us to read the code. So let me just cut this CSS link from here. So control X. If we now save. Then refresh here. Then you can see the CSS is not working. So let's go back to our code. We're going to create this css.blade.php. Let's take our css.net.php. And here we're going to paste whatever we just copied. After that, we're going to say here at the end of include. It will be admin.css. And we're going to do the same thing for the JavaScript part as well. So let me just cut the skip port from here. Then we're going to just right click. Then here we're going to say js.blade.php. And we're going to paste the skip code here. Then we're going to say here at the end of include admin.js. If we now save this, then refresh here, then you can see everything is working properly. And we have separate each file over here. So right now it will be really easier for us to read. We have the CSS section, header section, slide bar section, and body section. And if anyone want to modify anything, they can just directly go to this file. So right now, what we are going to do is that here you can see that we have a logout option, but obviously this doesn't work. What we are going to do is that we will create a button so that the admin can log out. So in order to do that, we'll go to the header.blade.php since uh, this section is the header section. So we'll go to our header.blade.php admin folder header.blade there you can see it becomes really easy to find anything and here you can see we have the logout option so i am just going to uh, remove this anchor tag from here okay so inside this anchor tag we are going to have a logout option so i am just going to copy some code from the navigation menu.blade.php let me just search for logout and here you can see we have a form here. So we are going to copy this form from here. They will put to our error.blade.php and I'm going to paste it here. And let's remove this X drop down link, the entire thing from here. Then also this X data. And for this form, we will have an input type submit. So I'm going to say here input type will be submit and the value it will be logout so let's save then if we now refresh here they can see you have a logout option if you want different design for the logout 
what you can do is that you can mention a class here. Let's say the class will be BTN, BTN primary. Say, then refresh, and I can see it didn't look like this. So if we now click on logout, it integrates the home page. So this is how you can integrate your HTML admin template to a Laravel project. I hope this was easy for you to follow. If you have any question or any suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.